Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Kinder Classes. Today we will discuss about industrial civilization. Okay. So, stay tuned and you will have a complete knowledge about industrial civilization. See, first we will talk about the time period of industrial civilization. See, it was uh, from 2600 BC okay 2600 bc bc is before crash area and 17 up to 1700 bc before crash area only okay then in this uh, time period there are sculpture seals potteries jewelries found at the excavation site okay then harappa and mahenjo-daro you can find that they are urban civic planning uh, uh, you know civil societies planned network of roads okay roads are always in a planned mode i mean they are building uh, the the built of uh, road and drainage systems are quite urban oriented then houses and drainage systems yes houses and drainage systems will be there because uh, they are a urban uh, i mean they were a urban civic society okay then planning and engineering skills that developed during that time okay that time uh, they have developed planning and engineering skills also okay now town planning we'll talk about town planning see town planning these are the houses okay these are the houses and normal people houses uh, uh, in this way they have arranged their houses and this figure what I have made for you shows that how the roads were built uh, during that time okay the roads were planned like grid okay this is like a grid okay uh, roads cut each other at 90 degree angle okay this road cuts another road at 90 degree angle so this angle is always 90 degree okay Similarly, this angle also, then this angle also, you can find this angle also, okay? Now, drainage were planned before the construction of roads, flow of drainage water were under the roads. Okay, this is quite interesting and this is quite urban civic. I mean, uh, they had that idea that we have to do this. A drainage before building the road so that's why they're building the drainage system first then after that they're building the roads right now you will find a lot of examples where after building the road the government uh, has that idea that they have to put the pipeline they have to put this uh, fiber optic uh, fiber optic cables and all for that reason they're digging the roads again and again okay so that's why the sometimes there will be traffic jam some Times there will be road jam and people are suffering because of that uh, anyways that's a different part then we will talk about metroid okay metroid uh, you can find bricks bricks can be burnt as well as sun dried okay uh, they are building uh, they were built uh, of bricks uh, they are, I mean uh, bricks were of uh, uh, drying because of sun and uh, bricks were also found that uh, which are dried because of fire okay then houses houses uh, here see uh, they have divided their houses into two uh, portions one is eastern portion and one is western portion see western portions are a little bit higher and eastern portions are a little bit lower okay so eastern portion uh, houses are like this and in western portion the rich people the citadel okay the citadel is uh, maybe the may be considered as the village priest whom they obey whom they uh, want to i mean who who is like a leader of that particular town or village or area so they were uh, living here at the peak of apex okay apex area the citadel will live here okay rich people will live in western side and the citadel will live at the peak of the highest area okay then normal people will be in eastern side okay then here you can find staple staple can be uh, found i think uh, in dholabira gujarat 
ओके स्टेप वेल आर नथिंग बट स्टेप्स ओके दिस दिस इज द वेल ओके दिस इज द वेल सॉरी फ्रॉम माई ड्रॉइंग एंड हियर यू कैन यू कैन गो इन टू द वेल टू टेक द वाटर थ्रू दी स्टेप्स ओके दी स्टेप्स दी स्टेप्स आर देर ओके नाउ वन मोर पॉइंट डोर्स डोंट ओपन ऑन रोड साइड वट एवर द हाउसेज दे हैव बिल्ट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दोज हाउसेज डोर्स ओंट बिल्ट ऑन रोड साइड ओके सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम रोड साइड द हाउस डोर्स कैन बी ओपन एट एनी साइड बट डोर्स डोंट ओपन ऑन द रोड साइड दैट मीन्स ईव लेट्स कंसिडर दैट हियर इट इज द रोड ओके and a road is going like that and one house is here okay then their houses cannot be this way or this way because roads are there so they have doors on this way or on this way here another house you can find okay let's go to next slide okay then we'll uh, talk uh, talk about the sites uh, from where we have got the remains okay uh, see major sites are harappa okay then mahenjodaro both are situated in pakistan then dolavera it's situated in gujarat india okay then lothal lothal somewhere you can find here okay if dolavera is there here it is not mentioned but i think uh, let's go to the last slide you can find lothal here okay dolavera here okay you can see this is pakistan okay sorry this is india this site okay this area is pakistan Uh, then harappa in present pakistan on the bank of river ravi okay you can find this harappa ravi here it is ravi okay bank of ravi you can find harappa and granary is you can find see granary is means the uh, remains of grains okay granaries are nothing but the houses they were used Uh, for storage of grains that is called granary okay then in mahenjodaro you can find the remains of citadel okay the great bath is nothing but that uh, ritual or spiritual bath uh, for uh, for which they may believe that uh, their sins will be vanished after taking bath in that reservoir or something like that then the great granary you can find in mahenjodaro then post cremation burial okay after uh, cremation they are you know digging holes and putting all the things of the dead person in a particular hole that is called post cremation burial then in dolavera dolavera side you can find giant water reservoirs water reservoirs you can find those see rivers are here and here you don't find rivers so for that dolavera region you can find water reservoirs okay then uh, it's it's quite large 10 large size signs like an advert uh, advertisement board staple is also found that staple we have discussed in previous slide and this staple also you can find in dolavera side okay then lothal lothal uh, we have seen that somewhere between here you can find lothal okay manchester of indus valley civilization see you can you can see that lothal will be nearer to this sea portion okay so it's like a dockyard hmm lothal manchester of indus valley civilization because from here uh, here uh, it's it's easy to export the things okay here it's uh, the textile industries were uh, uh, better because here the soil 
soil is also uh, that is a black cotton soil is suitable for cotton harvesting so you can find this textile industries here okay in gujarat important site for naval trade okay trading trading also possible because this is nearer to the sea portal okay fire altar fire altar is nothing but uh, what you called in hindi is agni kund okay agni kund where uh, they were doing some uh, uh, worships or some uh, uh, puja kind of things so that is called fire altar agni kund then rice remains from that we can consider that they were growing rice port city dockyard ships anchored okay dockyard is nothing but here what happened see man, ships were coming to here and here the, uh, in uh, this lothal those sea, uh, ships were uh, uh, what you called it uh, uh, services were arranged okay services uh, service service and management i mean the ships were repaired here repairing work of ships were occurred in lothal area okay then rakhi gadi haryana is uh, considered as the largest site rakhi gadi it is rakhi gadi sorry rakhi gadi haryana it's the largest site let me show you rakhi gadi Rakhi Gadi, see here in India, Haryana, you can find Rakhi Gadi. Okay. Then Roper is located on the banks of Satlas in Punjab, India. Uh, okay. Then remains of dog. Remains of dog, that is because dog was domestic animal at that time. So remains of dog you can find in Roper. Where is Roper? We can, I can find in this. Uh, Roper, Roper, Roper. Uh, Roper, where you can find. Okay, here Roper. Here you can find dog remains. Okay. Then Balathal and Kalibanga in the Rajasthan Bengal factory and toy fire. See, remains of toy also you can find and fire altar is Agni Kund that I have also told you. Balathar and Kalibangan we have to mark. See, Kalibangan you can find somewhere here. And Balnawal you can find here. Okay. Then Surkotada in Gujarat, first actual remains of horse bone. Horse bones you can find in Surkotada. Uh, Surkotada, Surkotada, hood. Here you can find horse bones. Okay. Okay, sorry. Then Banavali in Haryana. On the triad of Saraswati River toy okay toy you can find there then Alam Girpur in Mirat Uttar Pradesh on the banks of Yamuna uh, then Mehergarh in Pakistan considered as pre precursor to Indus Valley okay so these are the these are some points that from where we can get uh, uh, proofs that um, they were um, put, I mean they were key, uh, kept uh, horses dogs or the domestic animals and i think they were using horses for traveling purpose and dogs are they are the most loyal animals so um for their society welfare um, purpose they were uh, you know uh, domesticized dogs now we'll talk about art and culture what is art and culture and what are the art and culture remains you can find see seals you can find scripted on it Stilette and softstone material. Okay, seals that is uh, made up of steatite. Okay, steatite is nothing but uh, which is called softstone. Softstone, which uh, softstone material. Okay, so in these seals, the Pasupati seal. Here you can find Sivji along with deer, elephant, and unicorn tiger. This is the Pasupati. Um, okay. 
and here see tiger you can find elephant you can find here and deer here a lot of things you can find okay then another one is unicorn seal this one is unicorn seal unicorn you can find then these are the pictographic script then bronze figures you can find a dancing girl in Triveni Mudra of Mahindradaro see this is the dancing girl then bull of Kalibanga etc bull of Kalibanga see these things were created through lost wax technique okay through lost wax technique they have created this bull of Kalibanga and the dancing girl in Triveni Mudra okay then terracotta terracotta making of sculpture from fire baked clay that whatever is created because of baked clay I know um, uh, and after creating that we need to sow it to fire in order to dry it up okay then these are less in numbers and crude in say pinching method used yes pinching method you can find here okay then found in Gujarat Kalibanga sites for example mother goddess this is mother goddess mask of horn deity this is mask of horn deity and pottery in pottery you can pl find plain and painted potteries and painted animals birds trees and geometrical patterns and these painted potteries are also known as red and black pottery type okay then why these potteries were needed for storage of grains okay then perforated pottery for making of alcohol see this is the perforated pottery at that point of time here you can find these holes and these were used for making up alcohol okay then ornaments uh, beads made of precious stones okay here you can find beads ornaments like necklace this is the necklace okay fillets um, these are the fillets armlets okay armlets uh, these are fillets, armlets and finger rings. Okay, finger rings you can find here. Then girdles, earrings, I think these are the earrings and uh, this is finger ring or something. Okay, then anklets were owned by women. These are the ornaments you can find. Uh, we have got the remains uh, and we think that uh, from the proof that these are were used by women at that point of time and then fabric on fabric basis cotton cloth also found okay see here in this priest card you can find the cloth okay here it is cloth and here it is the mother of goddess here you can find the cloth and from this you can um, i mean expect that what kind of cloth they were used then spindles and holes were made from expensive uh, penance as well as clay okay so what they are doing uh, they are putting clay on the uh, fabric cotton cloths uh, to make it less transparent and to make it wearable okay then the priest god stone image this is the priest god looks like Thanos eh? <laughs> The priest card is looks like Thanos. Then the melt also red sandstone. Okay, uh, it is the melt also and it is made of red sandstone. Okay, these are the remains we have got. And now the final slide, and here we have to, uh, uh, you know, again repeat all the things what we have learned. Okay, see, Harappa, you can find it in. Uh, on the bank of Rabi Sea, okay. Then this uh, Mahindradaro you can find is on the base banks of uh, Indus, and these are both uh, situated in Pakistan. And from there you can find the urban civic society remains. Then Dolavira, Dolavira here you can find the staple. Here you can find uh, the other proofs also. Then uh, okay. Then Lothal, uh, then Surkotoda, okay, then uh, then uh, Rakhi Gadi, okay, these are the sites. Rakhi Gadi is the largest site, 
then lothal is known as dockyard because repairment of uh, the uh, what do you call it ships were arranged here then uh, uh, other other sites uh, roper you can uh, in roper you can find the remains of dogs then uh, this surkotoda you can find the remains of horse okay so this all you have to remember uh, in order to complete the indus valley civilization okay uh, this is quite important in terms of upsc prospectors of you so keep learning keep educating yourself that's my time thank you thank you very much and yes don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel nobody is subscribing i mean not nobody is subscribing but uh, a lot of people are watching but they don't subscribe so please subscribe thank you